Hello, good morning. Can I speak to Mrs. Fulton, please? Yes, yeah, speaking. Oh, Mrs. Fulton, hello there. Uh, it's Bob Evans here from <coughs> Airlines. Could you tell me what happened on board with the gentleman sitting next to you, Mr. Schultz? Basically, I was sitting in the seat and he came on and sort of started pushing against me. Basically, what he wanted was the, ar the armrest. Yeah. He, and he already had the armrest. And I said, well, I don't know where you want me to go. Right. Well, I mean, I can understand that you must have been quite riled. Well, I just I thought it was a bit odd. Yeah. And I thought, I do not want to be <clears throat> going through this, you know, six, eight-hour flight with this gentleman next to me pushing and... Did you push him back at any point? Well, I, there was nowhere for me to go. We have a, a doctor's certificate which has come in this morning, and there are pictures of bruises to his lower forearm, and a doctor's certificate verifying two cracked ribs. What? Oh, that is bizarre. He's one of our best customers and he does fly with us a lot. And we've never actually had any complaints made against him or from him before. I mean, how would you explain two cracked ribs? I honestly have no idea. Mm. I mean, to, to bruise someone or crack their ribs, you need to be giving them a bit of a dunt. Yeah, yeah. And when you went to the stewardess, uh -huh. what did she say? I just said, look, I've, I've got this gentleman sitting next to me who's... Well, I thought it was a bit odd. Yeah. And is there any possibility I can move? I've got a separate report from her. At any point, did you go back and make another approach to him later on? No. Are you sure about that? Absolutely positive. Well, I'm sorry to question you on that, Mrs. Fulton, but he claims that you kicked him. What? I didn't even... I didn't even go... Because I was in the second seat in. He claimed at the end of the flight that there was a kick. I didn't see him. This man is bizarre, honestly. I didn't see him because I was up at the back of the plane. He said that you'd vindictively lashed out. I didn't see the man have to move seats because you know the plane fires out from the front. Okay. Um, it does seem rather bizarre, uh, Mrs. Fulton, because he claimed that he'd fallen asleep and that you'd drawn a moustache. I don't... Are you holding me up? <laughs> <laughs> and spectacles. <laughs> Hello, Alison. Who's that? It's actually Robin Galloway at Real Radio. You are kidding me, on. I'm not Alison, I'm afraid. You know your friend Janice Lawson? Oh, she is so funny. <laughs> oh, I am going to kill her. <laughs> I am going to absolutely kill her. <laughs> but I'm starting to think there, this is really bizarre now. <laughs> He's got two broken ribs, lacerations to his lower torso, <laughs> bruised chins, a moustache and glasses. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. Oh, dear. <laughs>